First off, I want to apologize to all the Blendable B Squad fans. I want to apologize for the last uh, live video that I did. I was awkward. I let my man pride get ahead of me. It was kind get, of painful to watch. <clears throat> I didn't want to let y'all know how bad our situation was because as a man, you won't let nobody know all your business. If you're going downhill or whatever type of struggle you're in, as a man, you do not want to let nobody else know that. So. I apologize for that. I should have just told y'all the truth from the beginning with and just, just leave it at that. Because the car was totaled. Because the car, yes. Tell him the truth. Caddy is totaled. It's gone. There ain't no more caddy. No more. And he didn't want anybody to know. And I ain't want anybody to know it because that's how I am. So. <sighs> there you go. Now they know. You feel better now? Yes. I got it off my chest. So, but anyway, today is the update. The weed that I know people have been asking, what's the update on the car? Have y'all got a new one? Let's start from the beginning. Well, okay. Way from the beginning. the beginning. Okay. The beginning. You got the car wrecked. I got the car wrecked. It was on a Friday the 16th. Okay. I'm going through it. Because many people didn't see the live. Only about 50. Because many people didn't see the live. So, I'm letting everybody know now. Getting the car wrecked Friday the 16th. I've been out of work since then. My first day to work is tomorrow. So I've been out of work a whole week and three days. By the time you see this video, his first day of work might not be tomorrow, but he might yeah. have already be back at work. Yeah, so I've been going through some things. <laughs> trying <laughs> trying to get a car. Sorry about the screaming, guys. Again, yeah. we've been out here on the porch before. And that's Junior. Right yeah. behind me is his bedroom, yeah, and he's so, playing video games. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, so uh, anyway. Car gets totaled in accident. Trying to find a car. My insurance company is lagging. I'm like, okay. I'm thinking to myself, me and my son, we go to the tow yard to go see the car. And I'm like, okay, it could be fixed. Because there ain't no structural, really structural damage that we could see. So I get a call. What is it? Didn't it? I get the call on the 20th. And they tell me, well, Mr. Harris, uh, I said, has the adjuster been out to see the car yet? And I said, yes, yes we have. And I said, what was his conclusion? Uh, well, as of right now, your Cadillac is totaled. So I placed it on hold for a minute to try to wrap my, 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 my mind around this. Because after Mike and him went and looked at it, I have to, I have to jump in here, babe. Mike's seen there's no- Structural damage. Just cosmetic and a flat tire, yeah. right? Yeah. So what the insurance company did after I seen the bill because I got a little the little State Farm pocket agent thing on my phone. All total, they said, all total, the repair cost will cost sixty seven hundred dollars and sixty two cents. And the car is not worth that much. And they said that my car is only worth after my deduct before my deductible. It was forty seven or it something. It was forty. Or was it four thousand seven hundred and seventy six dollars and fifty eight cents? before my 500 deductible. My 500 deductible came, I got back $4,276. Yep. So okay, I go, my daughter's friend comes pick me up. We do, I had to go some other places. The State Farm agent called me and says, your check is here. Okay, I go do that. But it was so late in the day that I couldn't even go nowhere and even try to look for a car. So me, my wife, and my oldest son, for three days. No, Nida wasn't there with you. It was didn't, it was um, Brian who came with you the first no, no, time. No, online. Oh, oh, for I like thought you were going into straight, the next thing. We was going online trying to search for the same car or even something either a year year backwards or a year older than what we had. But we searching. But this was before you went to go pick up your check. Yeah, but this was we, we we were searching online for days and days and days. So a fountain wasn't my wife didn't. Well, you and Brian went out together. Yeah. You guys left early in the morning yeah we left at 10 30 in the morning you brian and mike me brian uh, and mike brian well, brian is, is our neighbor yeah, he, yeah he's a neighbor so we go all over tampa i mean we even went all the way down as far as go to hudson all, all, or something no we went to freaking brandon almost into riverview didn't you go to that what was that one place they had 500 hundred dollar cars in their lot hudson Florida. and they were like the stuff falling off of him. Yeah, it was the... in the sticks. He took me in the sticks. But he wanted him to check it out just yeah. in case. So we checked it out. So and then I was on offer up, and I found a charger. Look, this look. charger was so good yeah, it because was it had. It was clean. Seventy-five thousand miles. Had seventy. The the, guy, the um, person told me that it had a new motor put in, and it was seventy-five thousand mile motor.
Okay, so I'm like, they finally got back. So I'm like, is this still available? You say yeah, and I say how many miles on it? Do you have the messages? Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Let me let me bring it up. I I got it. <laughs> oh man, I got it saved. No, hold on. It was on Let Go. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. It was on Let, let Go. Go. Okay, because I downloaded that on, on my phone too. Okay, uh, come on, load up, stinky. <laughs> when you need something, it never it never goes right. So I don't I don't know what's going on here, but uh, I, I'm gonna find it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. The description of the car says, Dodge Charger 2009, four thousand dollars. I have for sale a 2009 Charger, Dodge Charger in excellent condition. Body is flawless. Excellent condition. Clean interior. Drive Say that again. Excellent. excellent condition body is flawless clean interior drives excellent no issues clean title ac blows cold everything works and they said excellent condition drives excellent yeah you heard that right yeah so all right i said you know what may not i may not like seventy five thousand miles for four thousand bucks you can't beat that okay so we go in there at this time it's about going about 6 30. yeah it was 6 30 almost seven i remember because yeah. i was on the phone with one of you two okay so we go in there I test drive the car, open it up on North Nebraska by the highway, make a U-turn, open it back up, coming back. So I'm like, so everybody's loving it. They're like, oh, um, Brown and Michael in the back, they're like, man, you should get this. $4,000, can't beat that. Tired, and I'm like, I need to get myself in the car because I don't know if I'm gonna have a job Monday if I can't get into a car. Yep. So, he tells me, first off, it was 4000 then he wanted 45 with all the taxes and fees. And Sean told him his situation. Look, this is all I, I have. I told him this have. is all I have. And then. What did he bring it down to? 44? 44. I, oh, he offered me. He, well, he lent me $200. Yeah. So we gave him the 44. Gave him the 44. We signed the paperwork. Get the car. I get it home. When you pulled in, my first thing was, what's that ticking noise? Yeah. So the next morning. No, I, we went out that night yeah, to go do a hot yeah, adult. Angie uh, and my two older went kids out. went out. They did a haul. And I guess Nichelle wanted something to eat, so there was something to eat. I the guess first place we stopped, the I, noise I, was so loud. Sounds like a knocking engine. It was a little worse last night. Once the car starts up and it starts uh, driving around, it gets worse. So you saw that clip. That's what's going on. Like, you guys get anything. Yeah. I was like, no, but maybe an engine that's about to blow. Yep. So that was the first I, thing I said to hubby, so and out. I was just being straight up honest with him. So me and Michael, we go out. I listen to it, and it's and it's ticking. It, it's knocking real loud. And I'm like, what the hell? And by this time, it's like 11, almost one o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, all right, let's just deal with this in the morning. So Michael, first thing we did, I opened up the hood because it's daylight. I could see everything there. So open up the hood, start the car. It hesitated. It barely wanted to start. It was like. Zh, 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 zh. When I started it, all of a sudden I heard, I told Michael, pop the hood, and all of a sudden I heard go. But it was louder than that. It sounded like a bunch of quarters. More like, yeah, more like bang, 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 bang. So I'm like, oh, hell no. And it wasn't even 10 hours later. So I called the guy. I said, yo. He was like, yeah. He said, how's the car? I said, yo, we got a problem. He's like, what? I'm like, man, your engine ticking, dog. He was like, what? I'm like, yeah, it's ticking. And I even let him hear the ticking. I put it, I put the mic, I put the phone up to the engine, I let him hear it. He was like, bring it in. Okay. So he said, he said, but first bring it in. He said, but I won't be at the shop for like another hour. We waited. So we waited. Before we left. So we waited. We um, I made sure everybody got. Was That's ready. when we decided we were all going to yeah. go because I had a, a kind of a worrisome feeling yeah. because the paperwork that hubby signed. Yes. He, was, he made a mistake. We're all human. Yeah. So well, anyway, you want to tell them about the paperwork? The paperwork was says at the end. At the, the guy end, wrote on the paper as is no warranties, no refunds, and I initialed it. He initialed it. My fault. But at the end of the day, we're all human. Yeah. But any, I, I want to say that if you're going to do as is cars, you should at least make sure that you know your cars are good. But don't just do as is because you're scamming people straight up. Yeah. This so, is families. Yeah. So anyway, you know? so we get up there. At about 10 30 10 45 we waited for this guy no lie until about almost four o'clock in the afternoon let me go back to what i was saying the reason i wanted to come because i brought my cameras just in case so yeah. we do have another video coming after this yeah with some video proof yeah we're yeah. gonna uh, yeah go after him yeah. on social and hopefully use the power of social media mm -hmm. we want a refund we want our yeah. money back yep yeah. because this ain't right 
So anyway, we get up there. Do you want to show them the car while you're talking? Yeah. So this is the blue boy right here that I purchased. From. Now, my question is, why would a 75,000 mile engine sound like this? So, but how would a 75,000 mile engine sound like that? Yep. Not only that, the, the next day, the coming down our road, the potholes and stuff, tell them about how, what's going on with the tire. Like, what is that spot, the tires, the stuff that tires hang from? Uh, the control arm, maybe the joints and the ball, ball joints or something. All rattling when we come yeah. down our road. How t also, how does a car not rattle until the next day, 24 hours later? How this right here, he took $4,400 from us. Yep. And then we okay. cannot drive this. This is not an everyday reliable vehicle. No. Right now, we are stuck with this here sitting a, in our yard. It's a death trap. It is going to, the engine is, uh, the engine is going to die. So we get up there. I was, we were there for hours. Yes. I cried. His mechanic even said, open it up. Mike had it going. He said, uh, it's the lifters. Yep, we got him on film before the guy got yeah. there. So Mike was like, yeah. You guys will see that video. Yeah, it could be the lifters, but it's the lifters and the, and the, and the, and the, um, and the uh, rockers that it's sitting on. Something wrong with that. So he said, I don't think so. I think it's just the lifters. Okay. No, no, no. He just said it was the lifters. Yeah. It's in your engine. But when his boss got there, his whole attitude changed. Yeah. His, old atti his, his attitude changed to where they made it seem like it was our fault that their engine was ticking. He said, so, you must have pushed it. Yeah, Something that's like what that. he said. And I said, um, and I said, the road. Push it as in, they're saying he must have floored it on the highway yeah, or the and, interstate and then or something. I said, and I said, the only time I did that was taking a test drive with your boss. And then he said, well, I, I did it on a couple of occasions. I went about 80 miles an hour on one road. I opened it up myself. And I'm like, well, I didn't. I took two side roads, two back roads to get home. And only pushed it when the boss told you to. And when only you took pushed the test it to drive. the boss who told me to to take the test drive. So, long story short, long story, let me tell them the something long, here. Long story short, the boss guy gets there. You know, we go back and forth. He's like, "Well, I can you took you it for a test drive." Now, we look at the reviews after the fact. We didn't think about all this before no, because because I needed the car. Yeah, that night I looked at the reviews. It was two and a half stars. And people saying almost verbatim what he said to us but what he said back to them but people saying other there's other people saying they got a car the next day it was broke it didn't yeah. work the guy replies to them and says something like well you bought it as is you took it for a test drive you said you loved it mm -hmm. the car was working perfect during the test drive yeah sounded great yeah all these things yep. and it's the same thing he said to us yep and then i said well i said okay the paperwork you gave me says it's a seventy-five thousand dollar motor who said yeah and I asked him, say, why would a 75,000 mile, 75, mile motor sound like that? I said, can you explain that to me? Uh, I can't. I feel like they oiled it up and greased everything up. From what I did, I think they probably put an additive in there. They did something. They oiled and greased it down. up. He didn't refund the money. He tried to, okay. Granted, we are out our insurance money. Granted, this is supposed to be a 75,000 75, motor car. Mm hmm so I'm thinking, okay, 75,000 motor car. He's gonna all probably, I would have took even something that had 110,000 dollars. I gotta be honest with you. I'm starting to question whether that's a 75,000 motor car yeah. because the dash says 200 and, and 15, 595. And he gave us paperwork that said an, a different engine was put in there yeah. that has 75,000 miles. I gotta, I gotta wonder whether that paperwork is even real at this yeah. point. Which tomorrow, you know what I should do? I should call the, I should call the people that actually he got the engine from and put it in. I should call them tomorrow and see if they actually put that in. Just call a whole lot of people. Yeah. So long story short, Wayne, I'm we we I'm, I'm out of my insurance money. I'm basically dead broke. I'm going to work basically. I'm going to broke basically with no with no money because I was out a whole week. I'm not going to get paid next week. It was week. even more than a week. It was le week week and three days. So I'm not going to get paid for that. I'm not going to see nothing, and my bills are starting to pile up now. They're not piling up yet they will though but they're getting there it's what what's going to happen is here's the issue babe rent is at the end of this month yep that rent money that's going to be gone yep then that then that, the the electric is right there with the rent then the car insurance and the first car payment is on the seventh yes okay well i'm gonna get to that begging him he tried to get us in a different vehicle that had over two hundred thousand some odd miles and it was crappy to begin with 
And after reading the reviews, and after seeing what happened to us and the way he was he was acting like, well, you signed the paper. Yep. And we didn't want any of those cars. So he was offering to exchange it, okay? So I want to make sure I put that in there. Yeah. But remind mind you, we have a big family. Uh, you guys see what happened during the hurricane. We all had to pack in that Cadillac yeah. with all of our animals. That was hard. Yes. We need something the size of the Cadillac because we knew it would work yeah. or a little bigger. And we got to be careful of gas mileage and we have to make sure it's reliable. After yeah. this situation and the reviews that we read, we realized he doesn't have reliable cars. No. So, after all of that, I said to Michael, my, and my, I, wife, my wife said to Michael, said before you, we leave here, is there any vehicle that we should exchange this car for that is worth more money than this car because at this point we're looking at this car like we need to make something off of it yeah. because we're going to tell you know we're going to put it on craigslist and we're going to tell somebody what's wrong with the engine it's obviously yeah. shot but whatever we can get for the rest of the car at this point and we asked mike is there anything else and he says no he said this is the mo the only car on that lot that we could probably get the most money for right. with a dead engine okay, or so broken we get in the car we go i go gas up so after that we go, I go to the gas station, we leave there, sour note. And Angie said, you know what? Where is the dealership that we got the caddy from? I looked at my GPS, six miles down the street. Okay, so after all that. Well, tell, I went in there begging, yeah. crying, begging. I told him, crying, we told him like, everything that happened. He's like, he's, like, he's like, what's the matter? And we show him what we bought. He was like, whoa. You bought that? Well, he, we, after we showed him the yeah, engine and he told like, him everything. No, he was like, no, come to me. Come to me. <laughs> but he asked who was the shop, you know, yeah, and he, everything. And he was like, he made a frown like, hmm, like that shop. And I, I did most of the talking when we went so my there. I did most of the Because I just, hubby was so, so upset at this point. I, 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 wanted to, I wanted to choke somebody. And yeah. I looked at the guy and I said, listen, this is what happened. Can we use this car as a down payment? You know, this car here towards anything your cheapest most reliable car on the lot and you know what he told us with He's, finance because at this point he, we were going to have to finance what he, tells us? he said if you would, not at first he said, well not at first he was telling us well i don't know if i want to really take this car because the engine knocking <laughs> he said but your best bet is to sell it try to sell it yourself then he says but we should have showed he says, up if you was here last week i could have took it off your hands and put you inside but we didn't have the but he says since tax season, he said all his $1,000 to $3,000 cars are gone. Yeah. And he said, but at the end of the month, he's about to reload again. So my wife said, what is your most fuel efficient, economical car that could fit a party of five? And he was like, well, he looked at that and he's like, well, what do you want for it? And I just was like, whatever you can give us for yeah. it. And, but I said, we just need the car to be reliable. It doesn't yes. matter what it is. It's got to fit my husband in it, and it's got to be reliable. And we and told has, him that he drives has, all over town yeah. for work, because my husband doesn't do a job where he can just get a cab and go get dropped up and picked up later. He no. drives all over town yeah. six days a week. Yeah, so my wife told him that. He said, you know what? So Show he brought this. us over to this car. He said, it was you know what? 1,500 he down. Said, you know what? I got this. And, and I said, I, well, I don't like, have 1,500. And he was like what do you have and we we're like nothing we're but like, we're like, nothing. and yeah. then i took him to the side because okay me being me ever since my family died especially my mom yeah, i always money. save a little bit of money on the side in case there is an emergency yeah. and i had a thousand dollars of my emergency money that wasn't you know that's in case something happens to one of the animals yeah. what if a car needs repair and that money i never conclude it i never count it it's money i don't have that's how i look at it yeah so hubby didn't I did, know I, I did not know until i i told the, the guy and i said i have a thousand dollars and yeah. hubby's just like wait yeah. what i said huh and i said remember i told you my savings i that so, my mad right, money so right then and there a man's pride i'm really pissed now because my wife had to dip into her stash to 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 make sure our family has a reliable car in which i just you know i'm gonna say it i'm gonna cuss i'm gonna say it. don't cuss well, because I we'll just, get demonized well, i just screwed up four grand so at the, at this point now it I'm, happens though we're all human i know but at this point now i'm highly pissed now because my wife had to dip in to her personal pocket so money. i continue to talk and do the talking yeah, because so he's walking talk, away so in circles I'm, I'm away, he's in fuming and he's and it, smoke coming out my ears <laughs> yeah. even junior at this time junior my little one he's pissed well he was at the, the car dealership he was pissed 
Primus at the car dealership. He's fuming. At the car dealership, Junior's face looked like somebody had smashed his PS4. So, so he's sitting down on, on the ground. He he got his head in, in his lap. He, he's, 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 he's broken. And I'm broken. So anyway, I continue to talk to the guy. So my wife, and I, yeah. I'll tell him. I, I, I told him I have $1,000. And that's all I had because that's all I had, literally, yeah. you know. And that's not counting, you know, I had bill money. Yeah. But that's it. That money I don't touch because I can't call my mom up anymore and start crying. Like, hey, mom, we're short on this or that. Can you help yeah. us out? I don't, we don't have any family yeah. left. So um, I'm going to get emotional because this whole thing is so messed up. Okay. So anyway, okay, me, okay, hang on, hang on. But th this is where the day gets better, but it's still not good for us. Yeah. So and I offered him the thousand, and but it was 1500 down. And he's like, you know what? You know what? I'll take I'll take it for a thousand down and he said you have to do payments and he said it was like what do you say 160 a month no 160 every two weeks and I said can you do any better than 160 every two weeks he said you he know said what? 130 I drop it down 130 every two weeks which is 260 a month I agreed to it yeah you know and it, yeah, it could be 260 every month sometimes there's an extra week in a month so it'd be yeah. a little bit more yeah. and um, at least that's what the lady kept explaining to me and so he decided we'll just keep we all decided we'll just keep this thing out of the whole scenario the, the other car and we weren't going to give him the headache of this car so he told us yeah just take that one home and just keep it out of the equation yeah. so now here we have a car that yes. costs us more than this is a 2004 Buick Le Sabre well Le Sabre whatever you want <laughs> anyway and this cost us more Finance. financing it then our Cadillac STS 2007 did. We paid 8,000 cash for that. This thing is going to cost us around $9,000 with the financing. Now we have we have bill. now we have this car. And we have this car. And we have all, all our money's gone. And now we have an extra. I'm sorry, give me a second. Let me just pause it real quick. Okay, I had to get myself together. Okay. Now we have an extra bill. Wow. Every two weeks, we have an extra bill, which we can't afford, but I don't know what else to do. So, you know, but we have stuff around the house. We're going to start gathering things and selling things we no longer need. And, you know, we have a few valuables, like I have a couple of collectibles yeah. and things and to help us with these payments. Yeah, so that's where we at for today that's where we at now however this car runs good it's a great good running car it will get him to and from work yep. it is a 2004 buick it has what 100,000 miles on it 104 564 good tires it's not good on gas the cattle it's not good it, the cadillac wasn't that great but this is worse than the cadillac yeah. so it's going to be extra gas money it's still got that 3800 big block v6 engine yep and um yeah, even though he's got a car right now, and he can get to and from work, things aren't good. No. Not at all. Things are, things are really, 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 really crappy right now. Yeah. So, that's, that's, so that's the update we wanted to share. Yeah, I'm sorry I get emotional. You guys, I get emotional. Tell them. I am, my, wear my heart on my sleeve. Yeah. I cry any about anything that we're going through, if it's bad, and yeah. so... But I had to cut the camera so I get my bearings back together. Yeah, so that's where we have an update. We got the death trap car and a car we can barely afford. And it's an older car and that's a shame. And those are cheap payments. But yeah. for us right now, it's, it's kind of it's expensive. We yeah. can't afford it. You know, you got people out here paying $400 and some change a month on car payments. That's why we don't like buying financed vehicles because yeah, we actually. can't afford other bills. Yeah, because I live paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, we can't afford to add more bills. So um, that's where we at. The only good thing that's going to help us with the payments is the insurance is a little cheaper now. Yeah. That'll help us, but it's we're still going to be it's in the minus. Yeah. So the money's got to come from somewhere. I don't know if it's going to come from our grocery bill every month or where it's coming from, but yeah, yeah this is where we're at right now. Yeah. And the sucky part about it is hubby won't get a paycheck. Okay. What is it? Until after the first payment is due. So we got a first payment due, which our first payment, first two payments are gonna be like two something because yeah. they split, they took the taxes and stuff and split them up. Yeah. But when I gave him that thousand, I counted wrong and there was an extra hundred in there. So I applied that to our first payment. So now we only gotta come up with like 150 for our first payment. Yeah. And our second payment is on the 21st. That's our anniversary, by the way. And my birthday's next week, April 2nd. I'll be 40 guys, 
freaking 40. Not, not happy about that. I'm happy about my birthday, but, well, I am, but I'm not. We were going to go somewhere special, but we can't do that now. But that's a whole nother story because we might still go there down the road, maybe, you know, but um, <coughs> at this point, this is a temporary car because we cannot afford payments. So now we're trying to figure out, okay, paying on this while trying to save money to buy another car in cash. Is where we so, are yeah. I'm not sure how we're gonna do it, but that's where our mind's at right now. But anyway, I've done a lot of talking. I cut them off a few times, and I really don't, I don't, if somebody wants to say stop cutting him off or whatever, I get that in videos sometime. Yeah. You could talk till you turn blue in the face. I'm either gonna remove your comment or we're just going to ignore you. But we've been cutting each other off for 23 years. Yep. Well, that's where we are. Yeah, but at the end of the day, this is this is what's been going on. Particular. Yeah, he helped us out. Yeah. He made sure, he's like, you know what, I'm going to help you guys out. You're going to leave here with something. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, yep. I'm going to go ahead and put this car back in the dungeon over here. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, <laughs> comment, subscribe, hit that, hit that notification button, and yeah, thumbs up. Yeah, and we're going to have another, we're going to have a sequel to this. Yeah. We got video footage of what happened, yeah. and we are going to try our damnedest to go after him on social media yeah. to the point where he breaks and refunds our money, yeah. and we'll give the car back. Yeah. So, uh, all that, peace, people.